I was recording. I ain't thinking about the song no more. I, I'm, and I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. That's real from the heart. I really like what you did on that song. Thank you. You 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 handled it with finesse and and you you just treated it in a beautiful way. But okay, now let's get on into what you did here because I'm right. I'm sure they want to know those little subtle spots that you added. What you can do there, um, you can just do a two five to two the B. Five, yeah, to the B. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've mm -hmm. heard that one. I've heard mm -hmm. people do the two yeah. five to the B before. So that's just a um a tritone sub. And I have a lot of random notes that drop mm -hmm. throughout the um it's kinda like on the feel. Yeah. Kinda yeah. like feeling it, yeah. It's just really kind of knowing those notes there within the key and the scale that you right, can yeah, kind of. Yeah. That's a, that's what's important. You got to know your scales. Yeah, yeah. Because it's scales. it's not always. Oh, I'm gonna hit it exactly like this. It's the way you're feeling right, it in yeah. that moment. But you know which notes not to hit. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So um, I went to the the uh, flat five there. So oh, and you could do. I don't even know what kind of that's kind of like him him style like i play, you play hymns, like yeah. like like it's almost like a hymn yeah 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 that 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 type of movement yeah that you were doing yeah yeah you hear that a lot in him playing Like I'm using the F sharp as as the three of D, so I go up a half step for mm -hmm. a quick second. <laughs> and then I'm right back. I forgot what 
I just played. <laughs> chord I just took it down a whole step mm -hmm. then I did a a three um a three six six two yeah but I didn't play the two I played the, uh, the three. oh yeah you kind of like substitute yeah Do little stuff like that over that, over that E flat chord. You could think of E flat as the one. Do that again. Do it slower. So you can get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. just kind of helped me to get right back where I need to be. that application in that song so what are you doing there as far as what where is it going from to get to the two yeah to get to the two yeah mm -hmm. it's like you're almost not like doing like a two five one you're doing like a five I mean uh this, there's one step you're leaving out because you're just doing the movement. You're not like doing a right, whole yeah, yeah, two, yeah. five, one type of right, right. Yeah. That would That's what it would be in context. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's good to understand where the moves are coming yeah, from, too, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a C... Uh, what is it? C7. 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 Nine, flat five. Seven. It's just something I do over the six. Just 
kind of like a movement to waste time on the six. Yeah. You don't have to move yet. Right. So that's um and that's coming from uh however you want to look at it mm-hmm. like you could look at it as just over the two Mm-hmm. Or, or the flat seven. Yeah, because either one works. Yeah, yeah, whether it's a two or the flat seven. Or the uh, the flat six two. Flat six, yeah. It depends on the mood. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. What okay. kind of mood you're trying Because each three of those bass notes make it feel slightly different. Yeah. And or I could even switch it up instead of going to the five, I could go to the six. So instead of uh, so that's it. Um, So you could go to the six instead. Um, there's a lot of options that you can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, depending on. Yeah. again seven three six Six. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now you did some cute little things in the Amen on there too. Cause I'll be honest, mm-hmm. whenever I hear people fool with that song, they don't never mess with the Amen. Oh yeah. They kinda leave that alone. <laughs> I don't know if they scared, they just kinda leave that alone. But I noticed you did some nice little subtle variations on the Amen. Okay. So, um. So it's kind of like the Amens. Um, it's kind of going, um. Basically, what the chords are there. Um, so and that's another thing you can do too is just inverting chords 
Inverse. You don't really have to do too much. You can invert the chords and yeah. just make it sound pretty. And that's another thing I with my left hand too. I I um I'm also percussive with my left hand, so I do a lot of mm, almost like, like strumming. Yeah. Certain, yeah. reason i do that is because my hands are small so <laughs> y'all roll, <laughs> so it, roll. roll it yeah. so it, it gotta be in time at least yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going back to d for a little bit Some nice stuff you did in there. Real, real smooth, real smooth. Thanks, thanks. All right. So, folks, we told you, you got slow down feature. Slow some of that down. Yep. If it was a little too quick for you, keep giving us different um, suggestions of different yeah. songs. And we're going to try and hit some of them yep. and, and, get, and get them over to you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Somebody... Um, put in a comment, a question. They want to know where you get the backing tracks from. Oh, the backing tracks. Um, loopcommunity.com. And also, I've played for a few of these artists, so I do have tracks from when I did play. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Yeah, but Loop Community does Loop. have tracks. Yeah, I have a lot of them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Because yeah. sometimes people they need that, especially you have some churches where, let's just say. The singers aren't as strong, right. and you want to hear those parts real definite. So, yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, folks, thank you for coming and hanging out. As we always say, if you really want to play, don't play around.